Hey guys, good morning. <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. Sorry, there's like a lot of construction and cars around, but today we're gonna go check out some holiday items at Trader Joe's. I wasn't going to do another Trader Joe's video since I did one like a month and a half ago or something, but my friend works at Trader Joe's and she was like, you have to, they have a lot of new holiday stuff. And I was like, eh, okay, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. So here I am. Um, I decided to go to the one in Manhattan since that's the one my friend works at. And um, we're about to go to Trader Joe's. I have a backpack for the goods. So let's walk on over and see what sort of vegan holiday stuff Trader Joe's has to offer this year. I hope I don't get kicked out for filming or anything like that. I'm here, but I need a moment. I'm very pissed off. It's been a long time since I've been um, catcalled as badly as I just was. And uh, people are nasty. People make you feel like shit. For no reason. I'm just trying to go to Trader Joe's. Why do you gotta say such nasty shit? <sighs> anyway. It's fine. Just like, I wish I could just beat him up, you know? I wish I could just, uh, uh. Anyway. Trader Joe's! All right, I actually have never been to this Trader Joe's. It's the same one as a Target. I've been to that Target, but I've never been to this Trader Joe's, so let's go. I'm still livid. Ah, okay, I can get over it. <sighs> It's actually not too crowded here. I thought it was going to be more busy. Also, let's play a game of Find Rochelle. I'm going to hide you in here for a minute. All right, I'm not picking this up because I already have some, but... Impossible Burger is only... Oh, I definitely thought that said $1.99, and I was, like, shocked, but it's $7.99. All right, everybody ignore that. I'm still frazzled. This kills me, though. Read it. Lower East Sides. <laughs> Don't buy this cheese. Don't, for the love of God, buy this cheese. It's so bad. Okay, oh, okay. So I heard these are good. We gotta get these. All right, I've only heard good things from these. I will try these in this video, I swear. I've also heard these are good. So we're getting these too. Oh, and by these, I mean these like corn, cornucopias and these veggie pouches. I really wanted these to be milk free, but they are not. No off brown pocky for me. It's the cauliflower gnocchi that everybody likes and that I hate. And sweet potato. I don't know if the sweet potato is vegan or not, but. Ooh, I wonder if they have frozen pizza. No. No, 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 no. No vegan pizza. Okay, this isn't holiday, and I've come to realize that I will, I will be buying more than just holiday stuff. I really want to try the vegetable fried rice. I just want these to be vegan. I want them to make a vegan mini cone, like so bad. But to my knowledge, none of them are vegan. Oh my goodness, okay, so I already, I already had these in my last Trader Joe's video, but these are so good. These cheeseless cheesecakes, delicious, 10 out of 10. Please do yourself a favor with these and get one. I have to try this. It looks like a really easy, quick meal, and they're vegan. I mean, I'm gonna check again, but oh no, they literally say vegan on it, so we're gonna get one of these too. I'm gonna be getting these strictly for Roberto. He's the gummy, the gummy lover in the family, so Scandinavian tidings of gummies, I guess. Oh wait, I hope these are vegan. These, I would, I would much rather eat these. I like sour, sour candies more. Yep, we're getting Scandinavian swimmers instead. Okay, so I know that this is a Christmas video, so I'm just gonna tell you that they have Christmas ones, but I'm gonna get this one because sour gummies are so much better than regular ones. I'm gonna grab one of these even though I already know they're good. Hold up, I've never seen this before. They have like containers of cups. I should get this instead. Yep. This one goes back. I think I've already low key gotten too much, but we still haven't found Rochelle. Oh my goodness. Look at these giant kiwis. Okay, like hand for size. Like, look how fat these are. I mean, it says mega kiwi, and they're not kidding. We're still looking for Rochelle. I actually asked somebody if she was working, and they said she's in the back and they'll let her know that I'm here. I found her! Hi! Hi! And, and she found me more goodies. So we're gonna get this vegan gingerbread loaf right here. So Rochelle grabbed me one of these too. These, I don't know how to say it, mini mushroom and, 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 and crow, and crow, crow, <laughs> this thing, puff pastry with like mushroom stuff and it looks really good. So that's going in. Two. Okay, so Rochelle says that these are one of her favorite things. They're like Pringles, but covered in dark chocolate, so we have to get those. And 
and peppermint marshmallows. This is perfect because yesterday Roberto bought a bag of marshmallows and ate it all before I got home. So I could do the same thing to him. Heads up, the sunflower things I got, not, I meant the dark chocolate cups I got, not vegan. So Rochelle put them back for me. Thank you. Yay. All right, seeing Rochelle cheered me up a bit. I was just so, it's like dehumanizing, you know? It's like, anyway, all right, forget it, forget it. Anyway, it was so great to see Rochelle. I'm super excited to try a lot of things in this bag. I will not, oh, by the way, everything fit in my backpack. Amazing, Matt and Nat bag. Like, best bag I've ever purchased, I have to, I have to say. Anyway, um, I won't be able to try everything in this haul in this video, but it will make it into the all the new foods I try in November video if I don't try it in this video. But I will go home and I will try the things I'm most excited to try. Um, so stay tuned uh, in two seconds. In two seconds video time, I will be home. Hey guys, I'm back home. I'm also in my jammies because I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with anything right now. These are the jammies from Cozy Earth, by the way, that I posted about on my Insta story like a few days ago. I mean, like maybe a few weeks ago if you're watching the video. I don't know. Anyway, if you hear music, it's because uh, I think somebody died in like the friend group that hangs out in the neighborhood and they have, I don't know, I think they're doing something for him. So please excuse the music. I can't blame them for it. Do I look too comfy for this clip? Maybe I shouldn't have literally put on my pajamas. Anyway, um, let's try a few of the things. I have two of the appetizers in the oven and I have three of the snacks here. That's most of the things that I got. Um, so I figured why not try the most interesting things in this video. So first off we have Rochelle's favorite. This is Rochelle's uh, recommendation that I get. So here it is. It's the Trader Joe's dark chocolate crisps and I'm trying to open it and I can't figure it out. Comes in a little silver package. There is, <laughs> they want you to know that there is a right and wrong way to open this. So this is the up, okay. Oh, they're so little. They're so cute. That's one side. The other one has this little checkeredy pattern. Cheers. That's good. It's kind of like dark chocolate covered potato chips. Except for instead of like potatoes, just like little bits of rice inside. It gets a thumbs up from me, 9, 9, 10. I could easily finish this whole thing. I'm gonna save it for Roberto so you can have some too. Next up we have the gummies. And Rochelle says that these taste like Sour Patch Kids. Oh, they smell really good. All right, do I wanna try, what are the flavors? It doesn't say what the flavors are. It just says sour, chewy, gummy candy in sea life shapes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for red. We're doing a red starfish. Mm, yeah, it's very similar to Shower Patch Kids. They have a very cute dolphin. Mmm. Oh, oh. I have no idea what flavor that is, but it's good. Might as well try the last color. Looks like a little clownfish maybe. That one's orange. Nine out of 10. But last but not least, we have a peppermint mini marshmallows. These even say vegan on the packet. These are like the kind of marshmallows you'd put in uh, your hot chocolate or something, but we ran out of hot chocolate. I've never had peppermint marshmallows. I don't know if I like peppermint marshmallows. That's very strange. You don't taste much peppermint, but then afterwards, it's kind of like you brushed your teeth recently. It definitely has the very specific peppermint taste of a candy cane. Seven out of 10. Not bad, but weird. I'm gonna go check on the appetizers in the oven. One of these smells like egg rolls and I don't know which one, but I like egg rolls, so I'm not upset about it. Okay, so we have two appetizers, Thanksgiving-y, Family y Christmassy kind of appetizers, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, this one looks like it's, you know, modeled after the cornucopia. It's even called Hold the Corn Appetizers. And they're so cute. These are both like the cutest appetizers I've seen in a very, very long time. Look at it! It's like a little crispy outside with a filling. I don't even know what the filling is. What does it say? White corn 
rice wrapper, sweet corn, water chestnuts, coconut green onions, mushrooms, chili peppers, cilantro, peppercorns, blah, 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 blah. Delightful. Delicious. If I was having people over, I would serve. Eight out of ten. I really like it. And then next up, we have these crispy vegetable pouches, which rival in cuteness. Look how adorable. I swear this is probably the one that smells like, like egg roll or spring roll, because I think it's literally just a spring roll in like an adorable shape. Pastry, jicama taro carrot, cabbage, onion, shiitake mushroom, garlic, soybean oil, soy sauce, sesame oil, blah, blah, blah. Yep, this is basically a spring roll in the most adorable packaging you've ever seen. I'm afraid it's gonna be hot. Yep, it's a spring roll. It's a cute, adorably wrapped spring roll. It's hot. It's a packet of molten vegetables. But though if if, I'll give it an eight. Both solid appetizers. I would eat them if they were served to me, and I would serve them if I was having a party. And they're super easy to make. You just pop in the oven for 15 minutes, and boom, you have little snackies. Good job. Cute, yummy, vegan. Um, yeah, that's all for this video. I did buy more things, as you saw in the previous clips, but I can't try them all today for this video, so uh, stay tuned for the all the new foods I tried in November video, because I will be trying them in that one. And what's another supermarket you want me to try? Like, I've already done Trader Joe's, I've done Wegmans, I've done Aldi. Um, are there any other grocery stores that you're specifically curious about? Then please let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope the end of 2020 has been not too hard on you. Um, like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you regularly watch my videos, then please subscribe. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, and Angie. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.